Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. Automobiles. On this episode, we review the two new Keens four-seater wagons, the XC Plus and the 7S Plus. Both of these wagons have four five-point harnesses and there are slight differences in each of them that we'll go over so that it can hopefully help you make a decision on which one will work for your family. A few key differences in the two wagons. The XC Plus retails for $849.99. It comes with a canopy, two removable bench seats, two handles, a zippered basket, an extra storage pouch, and a snack tray. It has a maximum weight limit of 326 pounds with each bench seat able to carry 100 pounds. The 7S Plus retails for $699.99. It comes with a canopy and a carrying case, a footwell cover with a case, a dust cover, two handles, four five-point harnesses, an insulated lined cooler basket, and a snack tray. It has a maximum weight limit of 300 pounds with each bench seat able to carry 100 pounds. The main differences between the two wagons is that the XC Plus has removable seats for more seating options, whereas the 7S Plus has an optional footwell, so the seating is limited to face-to-face -face benches. Other nuances in how they push and manage terrain will be discussed later in this video. The measurement of the XC Plus when closed is 21 inches from handlebar to handlebar and about 27 and a half inches from wheel to wheel. The 7S Plus when closed is 22 inches from handlebar to handlebar and 23 inches from wheel to wheel. When open, the XC Plus is 30 inches wheel to wheel width when looking at the rear wheels and the 7S Plus is 33 inches wheel-to-wheel -wheel width. Both of them have all-terrain tires. The 7S Plus has a three inch width while the XC Plus is two and a half inches for the wheels and they're both 14 inches in diameter for the rear wheel. To open the 7S Plus, you just unclip the strap and push down until you hear it lock into place. The handles can go up to 42 and a half inches at the highest comfortable angle for pushing. Interior measurements are as follows. The brakes are flip-flop friendly and the front wheels lock for rougher terrain. The snack tray is not interchangeable as shown here. The 7S Plus snack tray connects to these three rivets on each side and is very secure when attached. Each side of the wagon also has this pouch for extra storage and even has a little zippered pocket on the back as well. Each seat has a large pocket on the side which can carry pretty large items. The snack tray can fit in one of those pockets for storing when not in use. The basket has a strap that can keep it flush with the wagon, just like in true Keen's nature. Undo the strap and your insulated cooler basket can be used. It has a mesh bottom compartment like the 7S did for wet clothes or dirty shoes or beach toys. The canopy poles come up from the frame and locks into place. Then you can attach the canopy top which has the zippers to open up the mesh top and have more airflow. The sides of the canopies have a solid canvas shade drop down on the longer ends, but nothing on the shorter ends, similar to the canopy of the two-seater 7S. It does come with a canopy bag that you can hang on one of the handles for storing when you're not using it. There is a footwell cover that you can place which has a Velcro and a zipper to secure it over the footwell so that you can have a flatbed carriage. The XC Plus has two straps on the side that you unclip to open it up. Once it's unclipped, you can push down on the middle of the wagon until it locks into place in its open position. It has two removable seat benches that you can clip to the frame of the wagon. Each bench has two five-point harnesses and a small pocket on each arm of the bench seat. 
The beauty of the XC Plus is that if you have larger children that exceed the bench seat weight limit, there are holes in the carriage where you can thread the harnesses and the child can still sit in the bottom of the wagon and still have a harness strap. The handlebars are very tall parent friendly and can go up to 47 and a half inches at the highest comfortable angle for pushing. Interior measurements are as follows. Just like the 7S Plus, there is a strap that allows the basket to be stowed flush with the wagon. The basket on the XC Plus is not insulated, but is still pretty large, and it still has a mesh zippered bottom. It also has some extra pockets on the front and inside of it as well. This basket can be moved to either side of the wagon depending on where you want it to be stored. The other side has a storage pouch, which I'm currently using as a pouch for the canopy since this wagon did not come with a storage bag for the canopy. The seat is advertised to be able to recline, but I had a hard time actually reclining the bench seat where I felt it would be secure for a baby to sit in. So take that how you want. You can see here that I have pushed the clips forward to help the seat recline, but it just isn't as sturdy a recline as I would prefer. The brake is flip-flop friendly and the front wheels can lock for rougher terrain just like the 7S Plus. The canopy poles come up from the frame and locks into place as well. I wanted to point out this little piece here which I think is preparing for a retractable canopy that might be coming out for this wagon. So once all the canopy poles are up, you can place the canopy on top. It has a zippered mesh opening as well and the drop down shades on both long ends. Except for this one also has an option for a mesh drop down if you only wanted where the 7S Plus only has the canvas. So this one you can have a mesh or the blackout one or just a mesh if you wanted just a mesh. The carriage wall shade can also be rolled up to reveal mesh windows in the carriage frame for more airflow in the summer days. I'm not a fan of it being on the outside and needing toggle clips to hold it up, but at least this wagon has that option. There are more storage options with this wagon as well. Just like the 7S Plus, there are two hanging pockets on either side that have zipper closures and each of the bench seat backs have a zippered pocket as well. The XC Plus also has a cup holder rivet near the handlebars. I placed my Keens Air Plus cup holder there just to show this feature. The wagon does not come with one when you purchase it, but I'm guessing it will be a separate purchase in the future. The XC Plus also comes with a snack tray, which is not shown, but it clips onto the frame like the bench seats do and is very sturdy as well. To fold the 7S Plus, remove the footwell cover if you have it on, press the red button on the bottom of the frame and pull up from the center inside the carriage and it will fold accordion style. Clip the strap together on top and it will keep it in its closed position. To fold the XC Plus, you have two handle triggers on each side under the storage pockets. You pull up on those handle triggers and with a swift movement, pull up and the wagon will fold in half. We remove the seats to fold it easier and give it a more slim fold. Over time, it does get easier to fold it with the seats in, but I like the slimmer fold of it without the seats in, and I don't struggle to fold it when the seats are removed. Clip the two straps on the side so that it will stay closed. Here's how they look in the back of our Odyssey with all three rows up. We had to play with the 7S Plus a little to get it to be a slimmer fold so that it would fit better in the trunk, but it does fit. As you can see, it takes up quite a bit of space, but you still have room on the other side for other things. And here is the XC Plus in the trunk. We just put the seats on the side. The XC Plus takes up less room in the trunk. So now, some terrain footage. Here we are in our ranch house in the desert. The terrain has different sized rocks, loose gravel, dirt, and we transition from pavement to the different rocky terrain throughout this video. My 5 foot 10 inch 210 pound cousin is in the wagon with my daughter so that we could test how it does on the terrains while also testing its weight capacity. It was very easy to push even with the weight inside. You can see how the transitions from the different terrains were a breeze with the XC Plus. In the 7S Plus we have the same cousin and my daughter, same rocky terrain, 
Transitions from the different terrains were super smooth and I didn't feel like I had to give it an extra push to go from the different terrains, even with all the weight inside. On the rocky and loose gravel terrain, it was much easier to maneuver the 7S Plus than the XC Plus. For this next portion of terrains, I had two 75 pound dumbbells inside because it was windy and cold and actually ended up raining right after we filmed. So luckily the kid was at home. We went to the local park with the beach next to it. The 7S Plus on the dense grass with 150 pounds of weight inside was a struggle to push and just basically stopped when we got to the soft sand. I decided to lock the front wheels and try to pull it with the back wheels and it was easier in the soft sand, but still a struggle by myself. If you had one person pulling and the other pushing at the other end, it would get through the soft sand better. With the XC Plus, we had the same two 75 pound dumbbells inside. On the dense grass, it was much easier to maneuver than the XC Plus than the 7S Plus. Once we got to the sand, however, it was the same story. The loose sand just puts the wagon at a complete stop. So of course, I flipped the wagon around and pull leading with the big wheels and it was easier to get through the soft sand with the XC Plus and 150 pounds of weight than it was with the 7S Plus. Pulling through soft sand will always be easier than pushing through soft sand, and the beauty of both Keen's models is that they both have two handlebars, so you can have one parent pulling while the other pushes to get through the soft sand. Overall, these two wagons are great four-seater options. They will feel very large initially, especially if you're used to a two-seater wagon or a regular stroller, but you get used to the size very quickly, especially since it pushes and maneuvers really well. According to the website, the XC Plus weighs 54 pounds and the 7S Plus weighs 51 pounds, but to me the XC Plus feels like it's lighter weight. The 7S Plus is pretty wide and the thick wheels also add to that width, so if you feel like a doorway seems tight, I would lead with the bigger wheels so that you can make sure you clear it, rather than leading with the smaller wheels and getting stuck. It does fit through standard doorways, but I have found it easier to get through the doorway leading with the bigger wheels on the 7S Plus. I hope that this video was helpful, and as always, please feel free to comment below for any questions or message us on social media. Until next time!